experience to see everyone just standing up in boldness. Um, I'm so happy to be here today. Um, I, I love standing up here because I feel that I'm representing um, the young people in my generation who are too scared to stand up and to and to have a voice. So I, I just want to encourage you, if you're a young person here or you're listening online, don't be afraid to step out. It's time. We, the, the longer we sit and wait to, to stand up and show our voice, it's going to be too late. And it's amazing to see everyone here gathered around. And I encourage you, if you have children, if you have grandchildren, if you have neighbors who are youth, children, young adults, keep informing them with love. Show them love. You know, it's so hard to like get mad at someone when they're just saying, I just, I just want to take off my mask because I want to smile at you. How can, how can you get mad at that, right? So showing young people love and showing them the truth in this message because that is our next generation of people and leaders that we need to raise up. So give, give everyone a round of applause here. Let, let them hear you. So good, so good. Um, something I wanted to talk about today, um, a big part of it is courage and how much courage it takes not only to be here, but to actually see what's going on. I think a lot of people are getting close to understanding the truth of what our nation and what our world is facing, but have a hard time accepting it because it's actually really scary. If you think about what's going on, you have to accept that there's an extreme evil force and power that's coming behind it. But with that, what we have to remember is if there is evil that is that corrupt, there is a light that is way more bright, that outshines the darkness every single time. We know that light wins every single time. God will win and God will prevail. And he will reign on this nation. It says in our parliament building, he reigns from sea to sea over Canada. It says, God, keep our land glorious and free. And we need to remind ourselves of that and remind each other of that. Because that is what our nation is built upon today. So I just encourage you, have courage to stand up, to be free, to smile, hug other people. You know, life is all about living in community and being together. And if we don't have that, we really don't have anything if we don't have each other. So there is a God who loves you, who is here today. He is personal, just like there is evil and all of those things. I just want to let you know that there is a light and that is Jesus and that is God. And he is here with us, with his people, and he is not giving up on us. So... I just pray that today you would just receive that and feel that in your heart and feel that love. I'd like to sing a song for you now today. Thank you so much. I'd like to sing a song for you. Um, it's called Rise Up. And I think it's very beautiful. And what I love about this song um, is it can it's very personal. Like each one of you to get here today, you had to rise up. You have to wake up every morning when um, you're being oppressed. And if the oppression gets harder, you're still going to have to choose every morning to wake up, to be here, to smile, and all of those things. And I also love it because it says rise up as we are rising up together as one nation. So, yeah. Thank you. I'm also really tired. I got two hours of sleep last night coming home from Ottawa, so <laughs> the vocals might not be the best, but... Yeah. You're broken down inside of living life on a merry-go-round And you can't find the fight oh, oh, oh. But I see it in you so we can walk it out And move mountains We can walk it out and move mountains Let's see, wave your flags and I Take the 
world to its feet and move. Mountains will bring it to its feet and move. Mountains, let me hear you sing it. And our eyes up, our eyes like the day, our eyes up, our eyes on a fright, will rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. And for you, for you, for you. stopped father god i just pray for peace in ottawa especially right now i pray for our brothers and sisters all over the world fighting for freedom and in ottawa i pray for conviction over those police officers god who are riding on those horses i pray that they wouldn't be able to sleep at night because they would be so disgusted with what they are doing god i pray that then they would feel your love after god and i just pray that everyone that is here today would just remember that this is about love and just to show love to one another and i just pray for numbers and herds of people to come join this place every single saturday in your name Amen. Woo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My name is Haley Lewis. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, social media, Haley Lewis Music. Um, I'm also a vocal teacher and local to Kelowna. So if you'd like a business card or anything, come let me know. Thank you so much, guys. God bless. Nice job, Haley. That was amazing. Freedom, guys. Freedom. Yeah, like what that guy said. Freedom. 